someone asked or uh, in a roundabout way, how far will deer travel for water? I think the state he's in is kind of in a drought and he was wondering, um, he said, I think he worded it like how, how close will they bed to water if it's in a, like a drought year or how far will they travel to get to water? Hmm. Yeah, that's a hard question. Um, and I really don't know the answer to it, but what I can say is that, uh, I've shot, I've shot big bucks by targeting them near water sources in areas that don't have a lot of water when it's hot out. So I think in a lot of cases they do bed close, um, but not always, you know, a deer can get his, uh, um, water out of the vegetation that he eats. Um, but I think they'd rather have, you know, a drink or something too, you know? Yeah. So when it's hot, I think, uh, being near water is probably a very good idea. How far they'll travel? Probably how far do they need to travel? That's what you got to look at. I mean, is, is the water source out in the open? They ain't going to it in daylight and broad daylight walking through an open field to get to it if there's any kind of pressure. Right. You know, so pressure is going to play into it. How open it's going to be is going to play into it. How close is secure bedding? And secure bedding for a two-year-old is different than secure bedding for a five or six-year-old. So it's really difficult question to answer and every scenario is probably going to have a different answer. Yeah. I think, what do you think? I think deer need, uh, or, or they don't need water nearly as bad as what a guy would think. Um, I think it's kind of a, I don't know, uh, less of a priority on their minds and they, they get a lot of their moisture from whatever they're eating. Correct. Um, but, when it's like hot, you know, and, and a lot of times it's not hot anywhere opening weeks, you know, even in September, a lot of times it's, you know, if, if it's in the seventies or whatever, it's probably not that hot, but like down in Kentucky, I know when it can be a hundred degrees, then they probably need water a little more than what they typically do. But, um, yeah, I've never killed a deer that was like coming to water per se. Uh, but anyway, it's a good question though. It's definitely, I think a lot of people do though. I mean, I know I, I, uh, I was talking to Andy May last year about Kentucky and that's how he killed his, he killed a nice deer in Kentucky a couple of years ago. And that's what he did. He, it was super hot there that first week of September and he found a, like a remote water hole up in those hills and, and there was a nice buck coming to it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, that's how he, he killed that one. So, Hey everybody, if you like the channel, make sure you subscribe right here. And if you like the clips, I got two more options for you. Two options right here. Subscribe right here. See you guys.